Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, not too bad. Nice day. Hey, yeah. It's kind of ugly out, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm just saying, can't complain really. Yeah. It's not raining. Yet. No, not yet, eh? Yeah. No, I'm sure it's. Oh, actually, some blue sky, eh? <laughs> hey, that's not bad. Yeah. Hey, I was here talking to a couple of your members yesterday. Oh, yeah. And uh, they couldn't really answer a couple questions I had. Um, did you, are you guys aware of the uh, class action suit against the Watchtower Society for um, the way the two this rule protects pedophilia in the, in the organization? Are you aware of that? Well, no, because no. we don't protect pedophilia in the organization. Well, exactly. kind of the, the way the rules are that you have the two witness rule, I think it is, it's called, where if there isn't two witnesses to an accusation, then it's left in the hands of God. That is um, exactly what they say. Well, not, we'll have to, I'd have to look up some information on that to see. Oh, well, like what the lawsuit you're talking about. Yeah, or no, it's we, on the internet. And that? actually, Australia, too, the government's doing an inquisition to the Watchtower organization. The governing body was there, actually. Oh. Yeah, and. Uh, Where did you read about this? It's, Where did you see that? it's on the internet. It's all over the internet, actually. Yeah, it's called the Australian Royal Commission. And the government just went in and they <coughs> investigated a few religions, and the Jehovah Witnesses were one. And what came out was um, they, they're asking for them to change their policies because it's harboring pedophiles. And, uh, yeah. They're not being brought to justice, right? Because there's no two witnesses. And of course, anybody who wants to inflict harm on a child is not going to invite a witness in to, well, to witness it, yeah, right? And so I mean, certainly we would never stand for any kind of that behavior within our congregation. So I just find that... I have to look into more Yeah, oh, do, do look it up, yeah, for sure. Inform yourself, please, because I find that I've talked to a few witnesses and none of you guys know anything about it, which I find quite... Well, I find that just interesting that you would even, yeah, bring that up. So. I, I am because I like to, I'm informed, and I find it, um, I just find it really shocking, really, that yeah. uh, it's being exposed at a tremendous pace now. It's like, which more and more things are coming up, more and more people are coming together, and, and they're... They're not happy. Well, we'll look into that because yeah. that certainly is something. I mean, we know from what our stand is, we certainly would never put up with any kind of that behavior. No, and, I understand. You know, I, so, absolutely. That yeah. is the worst atrocity, oh. you know, imaginable, yeah. right? And, you know, we an innocent child is something like, oh, you know, that sure. I, unfathomable, but really. And even our God would never approve uh, no. that, right? No, so. no loving God would. But that's why, why would you have that rule then if, if, yeah. That's that's not a loving thing, you know what I mean? And like yeah. this has been happening for a while, like since yeah. the, the Jehovah Witness organization has come about, right? So yeah. it had no changes come about. Well, for I've been, I mean, I've been in the organization a long time myself, and I just didn't, you know, not aware of it. No, that's because they keep you guys in the dark. It's like a cult. Well, it's I've very been, much like a cult. Like you, you don't know what's going on. They don't tell you well, everything, we, uh, you know, we and they discourage you form, guys to uh, research them. Other than your own publications, which is just what they want you to know. Yeah, yeah. Well, we appreciate you bringing that up. And yeah. we're Were you around in 1975 for the uh, Stay Alive for 75? You I weren't? Maybe I was around, but I wasn't. No, before. you weren't a Jehovah Witness then, no. Did you know that they actually said the end of the world was going to come then and it didn't happen? The yeah. governing body didn't say that. The governing body didn't say that? But Stay Alive to 75, wasn't that the. No. That was said at the district convention, was it not? I don't, like, sorry, I'd be on the you don't know that, and you're in the religion. Well, no, because I wasn't in, involved in the. I know that, and I'm not in it because I research. Well, but why would it? I mean, in my in my. Because that makes you guys false it, prophets. That's why. Well, without a far, I mean, a person could say that, sure. Okay. Well, also, that. it was also said that the generation in 1914 would not pass before the end of this system, and they have passed again. False prophet and the governing body said that most certainly because it was in the Watchtower magazines. So all of them are gone. Uh, well, they would be over a hundred years old now, so I would say pretty good chance that they're most of them are gone. There might be have, a couple left, have, but I mean, there's other things in that prophecy. No, that's well. what you guys said, and it didn't come well, true. Not, that's a false yet. prophet. Yeah. That is. Yeah. It well, is, man. And even in, you know, the Revelation Grand Climax book, it's uh, said in our 20th century, right? I was there at those book studies. I remember that. Were didn't you, happen. Were you a witness? Or yes, you I was. Were yeah. That's here, why I'm so informed, right? Yeah. Here yeah. Super, where were you? Uh, no, back in Manitoba. Back yeah. yeah. Um, that's why I'm so informed. That's why I know more than you guys do, because yeah. I research outside of your guys' literature, and I get the real truth about the truth. That's what that's what it's called, really. Well, I mean, you have that right, and we just, I guess... But, 
you're you're not a so you yes or no did you not say that like did the organization not say the end of the time would come before the end of the 20th century that was in the revelation grand yeah, climax book between, at the end of the 20th it did century, very then. much so yeah i've seen it in print but you still you don't you choose not to believe that right no, no. like you you laugh like, like it's not believe, true we still but believe that the that, end is coming for sure but you said it multiple times it's going to happen at you've given dates and it didn't happen false prophecies do not fear the false prophet right you're being misled you are really are you're in a cult and you're very much harbored and kept close in fear yeah you, the fact that you don't know about all of the uh, class action lawsuits well, that's something I will definitely Yes, please do check into that look, and look into the false concern, prophecies. You know. I mean, jwfacts.com mm -hmm. is a website put up to inform people about your guys' false teachings. Well, we and if it is truth, too, yeah, I know you do. If it is truth that you yeah. have, it should stand up to any accusation, right? It should stand up bar none, and it doesn't. It's in your own literature from past that is whitewashed and removed. Like I remember, 1975 was across the front of the watchtower. It was that's the governing yeah. body, right? Like, I'm come on. The scripture that says in, in uh, Psalm it speaks about you know, the light keeps getting brighter and brighter. So I mean, just definitely. That's a cult term. The light keeps getting. That's how you make mistakes and enough. just and and cover it up, right? The light, the light gets brighter. It goes off. It goes on. It flickers. It's time to change the bulb, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the light keeps nice getting brighter. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll spread the word. Good. Please look yeah, up the uh, Australian good. Royal Commission, and there's also a lawsuit uh, in Canada as well, $66 million. Okay, have a good day, ladies. Bye-bye.